guys, it's Amanda with Getting There Green, and today, special video. It's unboxing of Baker Creek, rareseeds.com. Seeds, they came in the mail this week. I ordered them, oh, I don't know, two weeks ago. I don't think even that long. Um, Baker Creek, they do uh, mostly heirloom seeds, um, a lot of organic. I guess it's all heirloom seeds. Um, they're in the States. And I'm in Canada, but um, shipping to Canada is really cheap um, from rareseeds.com, Baker Creek. Let's open! Alright. Came in a bubble wrapped envelope. I think shipping was about uh, $3.50 US. Which is extraordinary because Canada, it costs a lot to ship things. Okay, here's the seeds! <laughs> Alright, some of you are thinking, wait, you guys are moving. Why are you buying seeds? I don't know where we're going to be this spring. Let's just start it off as I usually would. Get seeds, get ready. Alright, let's see what I have. There's my bill. See, we've got some special marigold seeds. Marigolds are good to grow in your garden. Um, they help with pest control. Some insects don't like them. Some bad insects don't like them. Good insects aren't going to bother eating from them anyway. And um, let's see, like rodents and things. They don't like the smell of them. They stay away. Good seeds. Let's see, what do we have here? Beans. These, they should be bush beans. Yep, these are bush bean. Regular bush beans. What else do we have here? Oh, Brussels sprouts. I, grew, I tried to grow Brussels sprouts once a few years ago, but um, it was too late in the year when I started them, so it didn't really work out. But I am looking forward to trying them again. Leeks. Randy's really excited for this. Randy loves leeks. He, uh, he makes like leek soup and things with them. Uh, I'll take it or leave it. If Randy's making dinner, I'll take it. Ooh, ooh, I love this. Buttercup squash. Uh, this is my favorite. It, uh, it, to me it tastes, it's got kind of a nutty flavor and uh, it's the smoothest um, squash texture. So I really like these. Look forward to trying that. Okay, what's the one vegetable that everybody grows like way too many varieties of? Tomatoes. So I said, what one tomato can you not live without? And it's a paste tomato. So I'm choosing to do paste tomatoes this year. I might do some other tomatoes. Uh, I'll check the seeds I have left over from previous years. But, um, Primarily paste tomato and these are Amish paste tomatoes from the pictures and the descriptions and the reviews on these They're like the size of your fist and they're really meaty. So these should be really really good uh, What else do we have here? Wow All right, what? Okay, sunflowers and this should just be a mix of sunflowers. Let me see it's just labeled sunflower. <laughs> uh, I think it's I think it's one kind of sunflower that blooms in various colors. That's what I uh, meant to order anyway. So hopefully, we've got a free gift. I love that when seed companies send you a free packet. These are love in a mist mixed colors. I don't know. They're flowers. Sure. Scarlet Runner beans. A salad mix. This is a European muslin salad mix. Mm -hmm. I love various greens in my salad. Ah, we've got corn. The picture is a red corn. A red corn? 
I don't know. It's a sweet corn. I ordered a sweet corn. Um, tried growing corn years ago and thought this is way too much work and it takes up way too much space for little results. But I'm going to try it again. See what I think after this year. Yeah, cool. And my favorite, zucchini. Alright, if you guys have been following us, you know that we have trouble growing zucchini because we have the squash vine borer problem every year. Well, this one, the reviews people had on this seed were that even though they have squash vine borer every year, they were able to grow this one. <laughs> this seed company isn't making any claims that this can grow even though you have squash vine borer infestations, but the reviews, the people who actually tried them, say it worked for them. I'll try anything. <laughs> uh, what do we have? Oh, jalapeno peppers, of course. And here's my last packet. Oh, flowers, patio pink. I thought they were really pretty and they're edible, so I'm trying them. All right, guys, go check out rareseeds.com if you want to order seeds like the ones I have today, or um, share below what your favorite seed company is and uh, we'll go check them out too. And uh, in the meantime, guys, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash green. Check out our website, gettingtheirgreen.com, and you can check us out on Twitter. Not too active on Twitter, but it's gettingtheirgrn on Twitter. All right, guys, subscribe if you like this, and uh, we'll hear from you later. See ya.